Okay, now we're going to try and change an exponential equation to its logarithmic form. Again, this video is not for deep understanding of logarithms or exponential equations. It's kind of the quick and dirty trick to get you by. <laughs> so here we go. Hopefully this works for us. So, first off, you need to understand that a logarithm is basically an exponential equation. It's the inverse of an exponential equation. So, if you have um, log base b of, at x equals y, then that is b to the y equals x. And I have to do that almost every time. I don't know why. It's the way I learned it, so now I, I'm stuck doing it. Kind of like people that count with their fingers. Um, when you learn how to do that at a very young age, you uh, continue to do that for a long period of time. So, um, and you'll see when I do this, I'll go back to that just to check my answer and make sure it's right. So let's say I gave you an equation. Let's say I gave you 3 to the 5th power equals 243. Okay. So we want to convert that exponential to a logarithm. So if you got, think you got it figured out, hit stop, give it a shot. Uh, mistakes are how we learn in math. And so um, let's just throw one in here and see what happens. So log base 3 of 243 should equal 5. A little quick thought is, maybe help you with this, is anytime you have an exponent, the logarithm always produces the exponent. So notice here's the 5, and log equals 5. So I know that logarithm is going to produce the exponent. That's just, a, that's one way to check. Here's another way, again, go back, 3 to the 5th equals 243. And indeed, 3 to the 5th equals 243. So I do know this is log base 3 of 243 will indeed produce 5. So that is that one. All right. Maybe let's do this one. So let's say we had 5 squared equals 25. So if you're on a roll, hit stop again. Give this one a shot. Watch, my, watch the, and then hit play. So here you go. Here's the answer. So log base 5, so the 5 is the base of your exponent, of 25 should equal 2. Again, the logarithm produced the exponent of 2, so I know that part's right, or 5 squared equals 25. So yes, indeed, log base 5 of 25 equals 2. All right, so that one's down. Here's another example. So 10 to the 4th equals 10,000. Okay, we want to produce the logarithm of that. So log of, well, and again, here you go. Log base 10 of 10,000 equals 4. Um, and hopefully you remembered that the common logarithm doesn't need that 10 and you just wrote this log of 10,000 equals 4 those mean the same thing and again 10 to the fourth equals 10,000 and a common logarithm always has a base 10 okay last couple here so a equals r squared you can do it with anything any, any exponential equation so go ahead and uh, hit stop, give it a shot, see if you got this figured out. Here's your answer. Log uh, base r of a equals 2. So it's a little trickier. Um, I've got it kind of out of, the or out of order, but r to the second power equals a. There's your logarithm. So log base r of a equals 2. And then finally is this one, x to the 0 equals 1. Common knowledge, anything to the 0 power is 1. So uh, hit stop, see if you can figure this one out. So here's your answer. Log base x of 1 equals 0. So we'll check that. x to the 0, excuse me, equals 1. 
and indeed, don't know what I'm writing there, um, log base x at 1 does in fact equal 0. Alright, so that, that's kind of a neat little fact there. <laughs> that's kind of why I added this one at the end. Um, kind of a nice little fact. Um, log of any base, log any base of 1, so if you add the common logarithm of 1, that is 0. You know, it doesn't matter what the base of your logarithm is. If you're taking the log of 1, you will get 0. So, kind of a nice little one to end on. Hope this helps you. Um, I, there's nothing more to say about it. <laughs> See you next time.